Sustainability is a top priority at our materials facilities. Granite has invested in a lot of different technologies and practice that help reduce environmental impacts at our plants. By its very nature, construction requires the use of natural materials. That's why it's so important to minimize waste and use sustainable practices to maximize the efficiency of the resources we do have to use. Material that doesn't meet a lot of the quality specifications because of weathering or contamination um, with clay. And so we'll use that material as fill, we'll sell it as fill. Um, we'll use it to build ponding areas for our wash water. After all the material's been removed, and we'll, we'll redevelop the site, re-slope the grading, we'll bring in topsoil, we'll uh, vegetate, and allow the mine to return back to its natural state. So it can be used, the property can be used for other uses. When they're paving a road, there's usually old asphalt, broken, cracked, damaged, that needs to be removed so that the new asphalt can go in. Take that asphalt, um, we'll crush it, just like we crush rock at our quarries, we'll bring it down to a, a small size, we call it 3 8 uh, minus, so it's pretty small material, and we'll put it back into our asphalt. We'll, we'll bring that crushed material back in and we'll weigh it in just like another ingredient into the asphalt. And then the, the oil that's, the asphalt oil that's in that recycled asphalt and the rock that's in there all get added back in and we blend it all together. So we're able to take this material um, that could have been a waste or a downcycled waste and we're able to put it back into the asphalt. With Gardner Asphalt having its battery capacity, Normally we'd need 600 kilowatts of maximum demand, but now we only need 400 kilowatts of maximum demand. And statewide, if more energy users start bringing batteries online, then it reduces the amount of power that the power plants have to output. 18 months from a green field to a fully operational facility. This plan is uh, much more automated than anything that we have had in this area before. So it has a uh, completely PLC controls computerized automation system that incorporates level control sensors for our crushers and our water system. It also includes uh, motion sensors that instantly will tell us if the belt's uh, not only stopped, but whether or not it's slipping, if there's a problem with the belt. We put a lot of effort into designing a functional pond system that allowed for um, the maximum amount of uh, recycled water we're hoping to get 80% recycle out of our water. So one of the biggest benefits about having an automated plant, um, first and foremost, it's safety. Uh, being able to have your interlocks to ensure that the environment for your team is safe, minimize spills, um, put sensors in place to automatically stop the plant as needed is a big deal. But also it gives you the ability to optimize your production um, in addition to your quality. By having the automation package, it really lets us ensure that our plant's fully utilized. We have a one megawatt solar field here on site. It generates about a third of our um, power usage. It's a key thing for us. With our asphalt plant, um, it's customer driven. The solar field actually back feeds to the hot plant and uh, compensates for that power draw. As these issues grow more and more important, Granite aims to lead the industry by being transparent about our impacts, seeking ways to innovate, and continuously improve.